we were building stablecoin infrastructure. But one of the problems that we were seeing in the market is that when companies wanted to move a large ticket, so a large ticket defined as like 500,000, a million, 5 million, 10 million, either for treasury or for merchant payments, you can't really do that programmatically today, right? Mm -hmm. What happens is when you go to move like a $10 million transaction, whoever the provider is, is going to say, can't fulfill the order, please use our OTC service. And OTC trading still in the stablecoin space is you get a telegram number and you just call somebody. It's very manual. Yeah, it's yeah. super, super manual, right? And so the problem though was because you got flipped to an OTC desk, which was a telegram number and you had the message, that really broke the experience down of Stablecoin. Yeah. They're like, actually, JP Morgan and Citi work just fine. To the extent that my team doesn't have to trade on a third-party messaging application, it can't be on messaging apps, right? Yeah. It needs oh. to be a little bit more secure. The main insight that we had, which we had conviction around, was that Stablecoin infrastructure is built for retail payments today. And there's not many folks out there that are focused on solving both the UI UX and the workflow experience, as well as the liquidity challenges for B2B transactions. And so we said that looks like a spot that needs to be solved because you know we want to have the traditional economy participate.